Hey guys, Mrs. T here, just doing a quick video on starting your measurement DI and how to do the quick design sketch. This is really important because it's basically the basis for your whole assignment. According to your task sheet, the very first part of your assignment is to do a quick sketch of your chest piece design with dimensions. That's the most important part of that. You need the dimensions and you need this design so you know what shapes there are, so you can do any maths. The chest piece needs to fit on a 290mm by 290mm square, so that's 29cm by 29cm. It should have at least four separate parts, so four pieces, and at least one with flat sides, one with curved sides, and one with a point. If you want to have access to your A, A plus sort of grades, you need at least eight parts with multiple curved parts and pointed parts. So you want a bit more complexity if you want to do like super well. You also need to decide the height that an adult could comfortably pick up the chest piece. Your angled 3D sketch is the basis for your whole assignment, so your decisions here are really important because um, the thing actually has to exist, or at least be able to exist. And just keep in mind, the quality of the drawing doesn't matter. It's the information on it that matters. I'm not marking you on your art ability. Um... I'm marking you on the maths that you do, but the drawing is going to be able to confirm for me if you did the maths right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto Google and work out what the average height of a person is, which is average height of adult. Literally first Google result, I get 175.4 centimeters tall. Um, and I'm going to use that as the basis for deciding what's a comfortable height, because if something is half my height, I'm going to be able to pick it up. So if I know that's the average height, and I divide it by 2, um, 175.4 centimetres divided by 2 is going to give you 87.7 centimetres. So if I use that as a basis, um, therefore 90 centimetres tall for design. I'm going to make my chest piece design 90 centimeters tall. So this is where you get a bit creative. You're making a chest piece to play with outside. It needs to fit on a 29 centimeter by 29 centimeter square. It needs to have multiple shapes. So let's get designing. If I know that it needs to fit on 29 centimeter by 29 centimeter square, I might as well meet that requirement straight away. I'm going to draw in black. Let's make the base a rectangular prism. So I'm going to draw that down here. I'm going to draw it like 3D at an angle. And I'm going to make this fit the requirement straight away. Okay. We're going to say that that's 29 centimeters. 29 centimeters it's, it's a square but because it's 3d it becomes a rectangular prism that's my base so I've already met the requirement of fitting onto the um, onto the uh, the square for the chessboard I also have a shape that's straight um, has um, flat faces on all the sides so I've already met that requirement too so now I'm just creating so Maybe I could have like a cylinder. Next, so I'm drawing it sort of skeleton style so you could see through. See, I made a mistake there, that's fine. So let's go up a little bit. That's gonna be smaller than 29 centimeters. I don't, it's not drawn to scale, obviously. So maybe we'll say that this has a radius of, it's smaller than 29. Let's make it uh, a radius of 13 centimeters. Because both sides, that'd be 26, which is smaller than what I've drawn this to be. And so that makes sense too. I've got something with a curve now. So I'm meeting that requirement. What could I do here? Maybe I could have 
another rectangular prism fit into the the cylinder so I'll draw the base of it there draw it up this could be the the stem or like the the main body of the chest piece whatever it is Notice that I haven't decided any heights yet because I can do that right at the end. I'm just getting the overall design. And it doesn't matter about the scale or if it looks exactly how it's going to be because we're going to deal with that when we draw our scale diagrams. So this rectangular prism, it has to fit onto this circle. And this circle is 13 centimeters across. Oh, so 13 centimeter radius, so 26 centimeters across. Maybe this could be, um, maybe that could be 20. So this could be 20 centimeters. This could be 20 centimeters. And that's the same at the top as well. What could we do now? I might need some room here. So it's really the uh, top of the chest piece that decides what your chest piece is meant to look like. So I might go with a rook here, the little castle piece. So I'm going to go with another cylinder sitting on top of this rectangular prism. I might be smart and make it exactly the same as the one on the bottom. To save me some maths so let's make that 13 centimeters i haven't decided how tall it is so if i look at my requirements here i could highlight that i've done i've already got at least four pieces i've got one with flat sides i've got curved sides i need something with a point so I've got this rook right now, the top of its head is really flat. Well, I could probably do pyramids up the top here. Let's do four of them. So we could have square base pyramid there, square base pyramid there, square base pyramid on the, the cardinal points or the compass points of my design, the top of the head. So you can see I'm not doing a need, it's all a bit wonky, but that doesn't matter maths wise because I can still do the maths correctly, even if the diagram is a bit dodgy. I what I do need to know is how how big these things are. So this is 13, this is 26 centimeters across. These pyramids are kind of small. Maybe I could make the base of the pyramids. Five centimeters by five centimeters, and we'll leave deciding how tall they are until at the end. So that's my basic design. I'm making a rook. I have how many pieces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got access to the higher grades as well. But now I need to decide. Um, the heights of all these pieces, because right now I've just decided like the width dimensions. I need to decide how tall everything is so that it's going to be 90 centimeters tall. And this is not to scale. I'm just making some decisions here. So what if we started with this being 15 centimeters? This looks about the same. Let's call that 15 centimeters. So we're up to 30 right now. up to 30 centimeters let's make this let's say this was the same as all those other heights let's make that 15 centimeters as well I'm leaving the middle part here because once I've decided everything here then I can just fill in the fill in the missing part to decide let's make these pyramids five centimeters tall as well. So they're just five by five by five, five centimeters tall. 
So at the top here, we've got 20 to the tip of the pyramid, 20. And then these two are 30, so 20 plus 30, 50. I need it to make up 90, so that lets me decide that this rectangular prism here is going to be 40 centimeters tall. That's the quick design sketch done. This is not to scale, okay? Some of the shapes and how wide they are may not be correct, but I'll show you how to deal with drawing it to scale in a later video. Right now, this is all you're trying to do to get started on your assignment, basically, because you could do all the maths required just based on these decisions alone. All right, hopefully that helps you out, and I'll see you on the next video.